Hey, what's up everyone? This is Cray, and today we are going to do a testing on our latest new toy. It's something that I don't really want. <laughs> the Wind Geralt. So here are the stats. I just have it on Violent Will, Standard, Speed, Attack, Attack. It would have been slightly better if it awakens into Accuracy, so that it's slightly easier to build, but it is what it is. We are also benched in World Guild Battle, however, I didn't know you can actually just use your swords as well. So we'll be tackling this guy's defense. First things first, we'll match the net force over there, but we'll be using Vitra instead of the Truffles. And we are gonna be doing the testing with the drop together with our Gianna, mainly because they kind of synergize us pretty well together with the strip into the bomb. Then Sierra to detonate it if they don't get stunned up. I think that could be okay. For the third team, we are just gonna go with the suicidal lineup in the form of Sian, Perna, and the Samuf. Last but not least, a full light lineup means that we'll be just using Diaz. He's gonna be soaking up all of the damage. The stats wise on Dominic doesn't really matter because if you have it on destroy, eventually you'll be able to bring down the units over time, alright? So nothing is gonna be touching our Dominic, that should be pretty safe. So let's just try to secure the wins here. Although it doesn't really matter since we are benched. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to play the Friday, last Friday's World Guild Battle, so that's my bad. Was pretty busy over the weekend. So we got the counter armor break on to the Dark Siri. She's gonna die towards the dot already. So I'm just looking forward to the Wind Gerald one. Hopefully we can get the W over there as well. So this one, once we bring down the Dark Siri, I think it's pretty much safe to say that we'll be able to clinch this win. So Armor Break now landed on to the Truffles. He goes down, Massacre, getting all this counter damage. <laughs> and Dark Siri's second skill, Bling Strike, is always super strong. Alright, I love it. Moving on here, we'll just go for the armor break. Savannah, we just ruined her up as well. Long time, never used this unit, honestly. So second skill able to bring down that Pontos, thankfully, because... You never know, Pontos usually always like violent proc one time into the clans. Invincibility buff for two turns, we don't have any strips after that. We probably lose. So we brought down the Teomars as well, left this fatty over here. I really hope that I can pull this unit real soon, man. Beyond Chill, dude. Yeah, Nephthys Beyond Chill I think is pretty decent. So we just go for the curse here. And I think once my Savannah moves, probably one shot. Should be easy, alright? Yeah, 54,000. No way in hell he survives that. Okay. Come on. Triple Revival Team. However, I don't really like that attack debuff onto my Perna, but I just need Sien to land bombs. Didn't get it onto the Kaki, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, 100% accuracy, dude. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Also getting the additional turn out of the stun, man. Perna is dead. Oh, this ain't good. Yeah, the Kaki is pure damage. How do... How do we deal with that? Oh, that's not enough. We need to stun. Did not get it. Sien is dead. No stun. <laughs> oh wow, they're actually so fast. Whoa. Chill the fuck up, man. Nice stun. Okay, now my next. <laughs> well, there goes our Wind Gerald debut over there. God damn it. Yo, we got the stun. The additional turn too strong, bro. Ah, Giselle always does that. I don't know why. Yeah. That was actually a little bit unfortunate. I wanted to test out like the Wind Gerald's bomb damage. In terms of the artifact, once again, for the left and right, I'm just having it on bomb damage percentage. So he should be able to do a little bit with the with the second skill, you know? 
So this one, our Dia's actually taking quite a lot of damage. Bro. Relax. We kill off the Light Macaron Guard, we win. Because I don't see any damage output from the other two. Come on, Dominic. Alright, nice. We'll just press the auto. So for this one, unfortunately, we got 3 wins out of 5. But... Once again, it doesn't really matter, so I don't really care. <laughs> All I want to do is try to get a win with our win, Geralt. Alrighty then, we just picked our units, and this time we'll be facing a Sigrid, Kiki, Tianlang, Nathis, Pontos, Valantis, and Muhammad Salah. So there's so many LD Net 5s. Actually, Taomiya does have some pretty strong individuals in their guild in terms of LDs, alright? So we just go for Sigrid. I didn't expect that unit to get one shot. What is going on? <laughs> hmm. Probably on a super, super, super fast swift set with broken slot 4 and 6 speed, I guess. I don't know what is the rune set on that unit. You shouldn't be able to get one shotted by a Dyna without armor break. But hey, no complaints. Alright. So we just finish off the Chandra here, 5 stacks Odin, we'll just remove that. And we just need to pew pew him once again once we have that skill up. So we are moving here, and this will secure the kill onto the Odin, moving on to the second round. Come on, there's no will on their side, bro. I don't like that, you know? But at least we got the stun onto the Byeongchou. Did we land any bomb? <laughs> Just one, right? Hmm. And I'm not sure which bomb damage was on the Byeongchou. I didn't pay attention. But it's not much. <laughs> he still has like 90% health, alright. Our Sierra getting stunned up as well. I do not like that. Nice violent proc. Okay, we'll try to remove the Tianlang because Tianlang basically counters our oracles. Every time they get the attack bar rolling, Tianlang's passive is in play, right? Wow. Hey, relax, bro. Come on. Oh, we need to stun it. Please? Okay, you don't violent, I swear to god. Okay, good. Okay, let's go, let's go. Man, the passive from Win Geralt. Pretty shit. Ah. <laughs> uh, I think this two bomb secures the kill. But counter 1k damage only? What is the point? I'd rather we have like some sort of self heal or heal ally with the passive. Maybe better, right? So. Honestly, I don't really know where this unit stands. Probably it's gonna be into my storage real soon. <laughs> I don't really like the the skill sets. Basically, the passive I think needs a buff on the Wind Geralt. Second skill is nice, alright? Second skill, I think, fair enough. You land AoE bombs, potential stuns here and there. But the passive is just a little bit too weak for a net 5, right? So this one, we'll just run triple fire, come on. Since we got Oblivion up, we cannot land Oblivion, we'll work on to the Clara then. Nice violent proc, goodbye, we can go for the Sanctuary, and we should be safe. Okay, Savannah even resisting the Oblivion, very nice. <laughs> oh man, what is the point of having some accuracy? No point, right? But at least now it's 3v1 against the Tessarion. You don't violent. Okay, good boy. Moving on to the fifth round here. This one, yep, pretty flashy stuff. We'll be running the Josephine here because there's gonna be a lot of stuns from the opponent. And I'm banking on the accuracy leader coming out from our Josephine. Hopefully, we can land our shit, you know? But with all this glancing now, I do not like it at all. Oh man. 
Oh, there's so many debuffs, bro. Riley. Oh, we land the armor break. Hmm. Riley, 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 please. I need you to heal. Stun. Okay, never mind. At least armor break is still intact onto the Pontos. We gotta kill him because I do not want to deal with the third skill. Now, can we cleanse that heal block? 20% <laughs> chance. Fair enough. Fair enough, we didn't get it. Okay. But even if my Vitra dies from here, I think we should be in a pretty good spot. Because Sala is quite squishy, he's dead. And Volantis doesn't have the damage output to deal against our Josephine. Especially when he stuns our team, we get shield for the whole lineup. We got Riley for heals as well. And for this one, I believe we secured 5 out of 5. But once again, it doesn't matter. So, my verdict on Win Gerald, I just pray that they change the third skill passive. Have a little bit of heals here and there, maybe for Ally on himself, could be slightly better. But yeah, it's just in a really weird spot right now with this unit. I'll probably just throw him into the storage. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next. Peace out.